Uh, okay, so I'm going to record um, this lesson now. Okay, and um, thank you for joining. And um, today is the 14th of August, 2023, Monday afternoon. And the weather is not very good today in um, Manchester. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, rainy and a little bit cloudy. Uh, what's the situation in, in, in um, France? It's sunny. Uh, it's sunny, okay. Hot and sunny. All right, okay. Nice one. So you're enjoying the sun? No. No? No. I... Okay. The sun and it's hot. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, right, so it's just... Uh, okay, um, so... Uh, what are we going to do today is your um, we're starting a new uh, module, new uh, unit, which is the customer relationship management. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be talking about the LO1. There are um, there are four, um, what do you call them, four learning outcomes or four learning um, outcomes for this module. Um one, two, three, and four. And then uh, the first one is the uh, knowing about the customer relationship management in the tourism and uh, hosp hospitality industry. The second um, unit or the second, sorry, learning outcome uh, is to do with your customer relationship um, later on. Okay. So we'll talk about that next week. Uh, so today we're going to talk about um, the customer relationship and its importance. Uh, there are three learning outcomes for this um, uh, for this learning outcome. Okay, so first of all, uh, which one is this? Um, we need to look at one point one. Explain the importance of customer relationship management uh, to a tourism um, and hospitality business. The second one is the um, let me check. Okay. Second one is to look at the different functions within tourism and hospitality business, uh, which are linked to customer relationship management. And the third um, assessment criteria that we'll be looking at is to analyze the factors that influence customer relationship uh, management. Okay, so these are the three learning assessment criteria we're talking about today's uh, session. All right, so let's start. Uh, what we'll cover in this unit overall is um uh different uh, things uh, different things will be included like uh, the importance of um, customers improving the customer relationship it looks at the how to improve the customer services uh how to um uh, exchange um ideas and what's the customer retention uh we're looking at the uh, the whole purpose of the um, um the unit is to look at the um customer satisfaction and social media and specifically LO1 will look at the managing quality in customer uh, relations. It will also look at the performance indicators such as um, analysis of customer feedback, complaints, IIP, uh, mystery shoppers and so on. Okay. Uh, also um, included in this LO1 will be to looking at the um, um, developing and maintaining a culture or service culture and looking at the factor uh, like customer focused organizations, challenging customers, conflict uh, resolution, complaint management. So this is the typical um, um, topics. This is the typical um, content we'll be uh, looking at. Okay. Um, so the customer, I mean, I'm sure you must have heard CRM. So let's start the first um uh, first thing, um, so the key uh, things that you need to know is um, the key terminology is, you know, the, the CRM, which is the customer relationship management. Now, customer relationship management is um, a very important, um, um, very important approach in business management. It doesn't really matter whether it's tourism or whether it's um, any other type of business. CRM is important. Uh, but particularly so important in the tourism because everybody uh, is interacting with human beings all the time. There's a lot of interaction between customers and uh, uh, businesses. Uh, that business depends on the customer relationship. So it's very important. 
um, that the CRM customer relationship management, uh, which looks at the um, attracting uh, customers, retaining customers, giving them a good experience, making sure that they uh, return to your business again and again. Uh, so this is uh, what we're going to be looking at, okay? And it's important in the sense, um, or in many sense, it's important that we should, we retain our customers uh, because we'll be repeating our business. We'll be getting more and more business uh, from them, okay? So this is why we need to um, make sure that we get the right customers at the right time uh, and the reasons um, uh, or the points to consider when we are doing the um, CRM is um, uh, to create customer profiling and data collection. Now, data collection, you know what collection is? i.e. collecting all the data of customers, all the collecting data of, uh, uh, you know, inventory as we um, earlier, um, you know, databases and uh, collection data, personal information, their phone number, you know, customer profiling is very important, i.e. the data which includes their, um, what would they like, where do they live, demographics, in other words, their preferences, behaviors, uh, history, you know, what do they, um, uh, what do they want, why do they come in, you know, what type of people they are, you know, are they uh, matching their activities to their, um, what you call them, income, and are they matching their um, um, efforts in a, or to their customer needs, are we matching their customer needs? So these customer profiling is very important in data collection in, in CRM, okay? So CRM starts with getting all the information regarding the customer. Well, yeah, so this is the first thing. Secondly is personalized uh, marketing. So the um, CRM is based on um, uh, personalized marketing, i.e. calling uh, to customers, asking uh, about their well-being, for example, uh, or asking about their um, feedback on, um, you know, uh, on bookings, for example, their experiences, yeah? Okay, mm -hmm. and how did they find um, our... Um, uh, hotel for example or the place they stayed at you know so this is another reason the third reason is the reservations and booking management right um, CRM also uh, CRM uh, looks at the uh, managing reservations and booking and how good uh, a CRM uh, to track people their history their inventory their room location their optimizing uh, pricing strategy and so forth so reservation and booking management is important when we have a, a CRM in tourism industry. Um, communication, of course, um, it uh, builds up communication. It uh, provides a continuous improvement in the um, service industry, in uh, particularly communicating with customers through emails, through um, social media, through uh, mobiles, through telephones and uh, personal inquiries and so on. So communication is vital um, for creating a CRM, whether it's personal, you can also visit personal uh, visits to customers if they are nearby, but it's very difficult when uh, people come from abroad. So you can't go to abroad. So the easiest method would be, you know, just to give them a call, a uh, mobile uh, phone call or email or reminder or whatever. Yeah, you are you following us? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So this is... Um, um, uh, reason. Another reason is to um, enhance your guest experiences. Um, so they will, of course, give you some kind of feedback, some kind of uh, preferences, some kind of uh, 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 preferences in terms of diet or in terms of rooms or in terms of um, uh, restrictions or, you know, and so on. So therefore, guest experiences is important. Uh, also, the CRM is important in the sense that um, it um, creates or it gathers information from customers, uh, their experiences, their reviews, their feedbacks. And feedbacks uh, and reviews are important for future, um, for future customers, for future businesses. Uh, so because uh, people are going to book in the future, they will uh, review. Um, you know, they will go and see what type of hotel it is and um, what the review says. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Currently, I'm uh, trying to book a hotel in Turkey, see, and I'm also looking at the reviews. Yeah. 
uh, feedback and reviews uh, because I need to book a hotel for um, a couple of um, uh, couple of days in in um, Istanbul, and I'm just um, in the middle of um, getting all these uh, reviews or uh, feedbacks. Uh, okay, so this is why it's important. Um, so when we booking, okay, it's important that we look at the reviews as well. Uh, customer support, of course, and data analytics and insights. So, so the customer service um, or customer um, relationship management also um, uh, looks at um, people or customers uh, in terms of their history, in terms of their um, resolution, in terms of their um, um, support. Maybe people need support um, from customer services, uh, you know. Uh, interacting with staff, for example, or information they need, or the history, or some other information that, that the customers need in order to create C CRM. And another reason for creating CRM is to uh, look at the uh, different um, areas where we can improve, because this is why we have reviews, this is we have uh, feedback, this is where we can uh, get their data and try and improve our services for our future customers and the customers uh, also make decisions um, uh, enhancing a current um, customer's experience. So therefore, data is very important. And then, of course, social media is um, another important um, um, area which plays an important part in the tourism industry these days. Uh, people are always on the move uh, on their mobiles and they're getting up to date information into social media and uh, making sure that they're integrating uh, their um, uh, communication or maybe they are integrating with social media platforms to check, um, you know, uh, or get concerned or get the latest uh, updates or you know, get the latest um, information regarding a particular issue or particular um, aspect of, um, you know, customer relationship management and so on. Okay, so there are many different um, uh, reasons. There are many different uh, reasons or um, there are different um, things we need to know about the, um, the customers, about the CRM. Okay, in... Um, Conclusion: Where you know the uh, CRM, the purpose of the CRM in the tourist industry or the hospitality industry is to help um, build up a customer relationship. Um, because you need to understand the customers' behavior, you need to understand their behavior and relationship and uh, their needs and preferences, which will lead to more better improved services, customer satisfaction, increased loyalty, making sure that they. Uh, they return to your business again and again and stay and recommend your business to other uh, people as well. Okay, so uh, this is very important to build up a relationship, CRM. Okay, so in summary, this is what the customer relationship is in building up a relationship with customers uh, in order to um, listen to them, in order to create their preferences in order to look at their needs, in order to improve their uh, uh, you know, well-being while they are staying with us and customer um, loyalty and customer relationship so that the people who stay with us, of course, they will um, spread the gesture or spread the word of mouth in a positive way and recommend uh, to other customers. And uh, this is why all right, and these are very crucial. CRM is very crucial in this competitive business, right? Are we okay on this, um, yeah. Tulani? Yeah. Okay. So, have you heard the term CRM before? Did you do anything about this CRM, or no? Um, no? Okay. Uh, so now that you are doing the um, course, now that you are um, on this uh, level five course crm now you understand what crm what's the purpose of crm why do we do it what's the uh, philosophy behind this okay so you can um, uh, you know go and watch this video it'll be on the youtube and you can um, watch this video on on your uh, 
uh, YouTube said, okay, I'm not going to play a little bit because uh, this is what I've told you. So it'll just be repetition. Okay, you can have it. Okay, um, again, um, so going going to 1.1, um, I think we've um, uh, covered um, the importance of um, um, customer relationship management in the sense that uh, first uh, of many reasons is it, it enhances customer experiences, okay? It enhances uh, customer experiences. It helps um, people, it helps organizations or uh, tourist organizations to gather data, to assemble um, people's uh, preferences, their needs, and so on. So this is what we covered in the earlier on. Okay, repeat business, we... Um, we get repeat business and loyalty business from these customers. When we have a good uh, customer relationship management system, it helps to maintain uh, our customers' relationship with us, interaction and uh, nurture and build up good relationship with uh, with us over the time. And um, the repeat business, we'll probably get repeat business if we provide them with good um, of with good service, with good uh, interaction, with good. Uh, um, you know, with good, what you call them, uh, you know, good service and uh, good loyalty customers will always come back to us. Okay. It's uh, the third reason, the important of the, the customer relationship uh, management is to improve the com marketing campaign, to improve how, you know, how we are doing and uh, reduce the waste associated with the um, uh, promotions and marketing and target marketing so it uh, word of mouth will get quicker as we said earlier on okay first uh, reason is the customer needs we need to make sure that we are providing the needs for the customers so the creating uh, a good crm facilitates proactive engagement with customers okay um, it gives you feedback of course and, and chances to improve uh, as we said earlier okay um, and number six is streamline operations, i.e. the good customer relationship management system um, will streamline our operations in the sense that uh, we can um, manage reservations, bookings, and other operational aspects more efficiently, i.e. the automation and uh, integration. We can uh, you know, centralize our services. We can automate our services. We can uh, try and um, you know, um, you receive, say, for example, customer complaints or any issues or any problems. This, this operations is um, streamlined. Okay. Uh, another reason is um, it will provide us with a competitive advantage over our uh, uh, competitors. So if we have a good system, if we have a good uh, communication system or CRM, we will have a good, um, um, you know, customer experiences, uh, we'll have a good um, competitive advantage over others by providing these positive services because uh, we have a, built up a strong relationship with these customers. So it's important that we maintain our competitive edge over the other organizations, okay, in terms of um, providing good service, good behavior, good market trends, and so on. Uh, it also provides us with this long-term relationships. Okay, so we will probably get repeat business, and okay. So uh, in in uh, conclusion, the customer relationship is uh, building up relationship and going beyond uh, the transactional interaction. It builds up good relationship, build, uh, good uh, connection, business growth, and uh, keeps us. Uh, on our toes to compete with our customers. So there are many, many different, many, many good reasons why we should have a, a customer relationship management, okay? So 1.1, generally, we covered this uh, quickly and um, effectively, okay? Now, looking at the um, 1.2 is, um, the 1.2 basically looks at um, uh, the different functions within tourism and hospitality businesses which are linked to the customer's uh, relationship management. There are different uh, functions. Uh, by functions, uh, you know, they are different. Um, by functions mean you need to manage uh, different types of activities within the business, okay? Different types of um, 
functions include, for example, um, reservation. That's another. That's one function, correct? And booking management system. That's one function. Uh, profiling management, guest profiling management, i.e., getting the data uh, for customers, getting the data from uh, customers, contact details, their in booking details, their interaction, uh, past interaction, booking history. So the, you can create a, um, a group or guest profile management. It, this will help you uh, create um, a good business to deliver services and personalized service over the years. Okay. Um, other function of um, within CRM, within the, uh, the tourism industry, which is linked to the customer management system, is to provide you with customer segmentation, i.e. which type of um, customer uh, base or which type of customers are you going to attack? In other words, which, going, which are the particular section of the customer market are you going to target? Is it the young market? single market is it the married for example is it couples is it uh, couples with children is it married families or what type of um, you know marketing activities you're going to do for these particular um, customers so when you need to decide uh, the segment of the market which you're going to target okay then according to that segmentation you will design the marketing campaign you will design the uh, offerings you will design um, some kind of uh, um, advertising based on the particular type of uh, customers you're going to attract is that right yeah yeah so if, for example if um, during the holiday season you want to attract um, school children of course you need to design a, a campaign according to the needs of the customers which are the children if you're going to target um, um, Christmas during the Christmas times and uh, you're going to target families, of course, your campaign should reflect that kind of marketing campaign. So you need to pick up your targets, pick up your customer segment according to the type of customer that you're going to tackle. Okay. If you are tackling um, students, of course, you need to uh, design marketing activities according to students and so on okay and um, another uh, function within the crm is to uh, look at the uh, function of um, feedback and review communication engagement uh, such as uh, these emails and such as uh, these references okay so therefore it's very important uh, that you communicate uh, with your customers, you communicate with your uh, um, market, um, the different types of um, customers that you're going to attract through different channels, uh, through social media, through email, uh, through business apps and so on. So therefore, it's very important that you um, analyze, you anal look at the different functions within the business uh, which are creating, going to create your customer relationship management. Okay. Uh, loyalty programs, for example, loyalty programs are programs that are um, uh, giving members uh, some kind of offer uh, benefits uh, to customers who stay with you for a longer period of time or continuous or permanent customers, in other words, as such, they're returning customers. You, For example, if you fill up um, uh, a tank of um, petrol and you go to have, um, you know, you go to a particular petrol station through Tesco, for example, you probably go back again and again to that particular um, Tesco petrol station because uh, you will get a benefit, you'll probably get discount, you'll get a, a point system, you'll get a loyalty card maybe, yeah? So you continue to be a customer of them. And this will help um, businesses to build up a, a CRM business relationship through loyalty program. They may offer you kind of a discount or something like this. Um, okay, another um, uh, function, another uh, function is to look at the upselling and cross-selling um, 
cross selling of your products okay uh, by cross selling and uh, upselling the crm uh, system which um, and it enables uh, people or businesses which can look at um, yourself as customers you they look at your customer preferences and purchasing history and businesses can recommend additional services uh, that align with these uh, people's interests and so upselling and cross-selling it'll help you what type of products you're going to buy from them um, you know are the connecting products in other words if you're buying a um, petrol station you might as well also be advertised with some kind of um, you know other um, products buy products or additional up uh, selling products like chocolates for example or tea and biscuits or coffee and so on or um, you know like that or maybe buy products like a air freshener for um, cars and so on okay so you can get some additional products additional services according to their interests and tastes okay personalized marketing which means um, the crm allows um, uh, yourself to create personalized marketing campaigns according to the customers according to the customer targets as we said earlier on and they you'll design the promotion or you'll design campaign according to the the needs of the yeah needs of the customer so you target your customers according to what they need not according to what you um, want to offer okay and this is, you will get it through the feedback and so on okay now data anal analytics and reporting of course, uh, this provides you with um, data analysis or trends or preferences or, uh, you know, the type of uh, things people like or dislike. And it will give you uh, a kind of um, matrices to make your decisions uh, work or, yeah, refine your strategies. Understand? Are you with us? Yeah. Okay. Um and the last, um, um, or not last, uh, number 10 is problem resolution, i.e. the CRM system. Uh, when we are talking about the system, it helps to address customer issues, complaints, and so on, okay? And also it looks at the social, me social media monitoring, checking, commercial, real um, uh, feedback, and so on, so that you can improve the services afterwards. And lastly customer retention then you know, it uh, uh, looks at the customer interaction and preferences and making sure that the customers are satisfied and they return and recommend our business trees to others as well okay so in summary in um, you know all getting all this together crm is very important in different functions um, within within uh, within the hospitality trade because uh, it looks at different uh, sections, it look, looks at different experiences, it looks at different um, departments, making sure that the right decision is made and which contribute to the overall success of a business or of the tourism business, in other words. Okay. So we have um, looked at the importance of um, CRM. We have looked at the... Uh, um, different functions within tourism uh, that are linked to the customer relationship uh, service okay now 1.3 uh, it looks at the factors that influence customer relationship management uh, factors in the industry in the tourism industry so we are going to now look at the factors that influence customer relationship now, there are many different factors that influence um, customer relationship management Okay, they may be internal, they may be external. Yeah, um, I'm sure you must have heard external factors in, in your previous studies, you know, like SWOT analysis and uh, a pastel analysis. Yeah, mm -hmm. similarly here, um, when we are uh, creating the CRM, uh, there, are, there are other, uh, some important factors that influence CRM in the industry, such as, for example, uh, personal um, experiences, personalized experiences. And if you have a good experience, of course, uh, this will, um, you know, create good relationship with the, with the business. If you have bad uh, experience, this will um, 
you know, create a bad uh, impression of the place that you going to be or that you're going to recommend or use or whatever. Yeah. Okay. So the personalization experience, personalized experience is very important, uh, i.e. the customer's preferences, the customer's experiences, interactions and their information is important. Now, um, what about the technology? The technology, of course, second factor that influences a, a customer relationship is the technology, the use of technology, i.e. the database, the software, the analytics, uh, you know, the platforms, the mobiles, the interactive uh, technology uh, that you're going to be using in your business, um, you know, the computers and the software and the databases and so on. All this uh, enables you to create a better service uh, to improve the customer relationship. Yeah, maybe if you want to phone, uh, use the phone, then of course you have to use the automated uh, phone service. But people, some people don't like automated phone service. They want to talk to some people, real uh, people rather than a recorded message. Okay, so it depends on the uh, how you use um, you know, this customer uh, technology and the database and so on. Okay, so these are the factors that will influence the CRM. Okay, customer data, of course, uh, you know, you have a, a, to have a good uh, access to the customer data, which provides you um, access or insight into behaviors and needs of customers. And this will uh, help you to uh, gear marketing campaign according to what people uh, will need, what people would like to be offered what people like what type of services they would like to be offered okay um, right other factors that influence the customer relationship is um, communication channels the type of communication channels that um, you're going to be using are important um, because this will um, you know this will create um, a good interaction with customers. It will um, make sure that the customers are engaged with yourself. Uh, so the better system, the better communication channel that uh, you use in the industry, right? You will quickly um, get to know the customers. Okay, so the communication becomes easier. And these days, technology making use of technology. Uh, makes it very easy to communicate with customers and this uh, will uh, give a, a good impression or a bad impression about the organization. So if you respond to quicker communication, then of course, uh, through the use of technology, it will um, enhance the customer relationship. Um, so it's very important to know that as well. Feedback, of course, we, uh, we looked at the feedback, how important it is and how Reviews are important in addressing concerns or um, incorporating suggestions or building trust and improving customer satisfaction. Um, reviews and feedbacks are, are very important these days because people look at the people look at these and they read them. Okay, and the bad comment, uh, one bad comment will um, uh, ruin your can ruin your um, whole marketing campaign and so on. So it's important that uh, you must create a good relationship with your customers, okay? Uh, what uh, what else do we have? What other um, type of factors could you think of that mm -hmm. can influence the customer relationship? Any ideas? <laughs> No. Other type of factors okay. that um, influence the customer relationship. Um, employee training, for example, yeah. Cultural sensitivity, okay. Uh, what we mean by employee training? It means uh, when you are uh, working in a tourist industry, people should be well trained. You can provide um, good service, and good information. They should know, uh, you know, what. Uh, important um, place they are playing uh, with the organization by providing up-to-date information, by providing correct information, 
uh, by providing uh, latest information, you know, so they should have a good communication uh, style as well. So they should be trained, they should know what they're talking about. And this will um, contribute to the positive um, building relationship. Cultural sensitivity means um, you should understand um, people's culture, people's background, people's uh, sensitivity, people, um, you know, uh, looking at the culture from or religion or um, you know background of people and you must uh, try and um, cater for that because some people are very sensitive and uh, you need to make sure that hospitality trade is welcoming uh, these different people uh, you know and to enhance to reach uh, the environment of the place um, okay. Um, other CRM is important, uh, or other factors that are um, important or influence uh, relationship is um, loyalty programs, as we discussed earlier on, to build up relationship. Um, okay. Crisis management is very important. Now, crisis management is in uh, what it is is when you have problems, when you have issues, or when you have some kind of a uh, unexpected situation how will you be able to handle this particular uh, situation in you know you can have a um, fire for example or maybe you can have a, a traffic jam for example or maybe there are too many people in the building uh, when you you know can't afford to have too many hmm? how would you maintain um how would you maintain the um the trust, how would you maintain the relationship, how would you maintain the flow, continuous flow of uh, uh, activities of people, uh, you know, so this is quite important. In some time, emergency situation, you know, how would you handle emergency uh, in, in, in that particular um, crisis situation? So it's important, the better uh, you have a system built up uh, or um, the better customer relationship, of course, the crisis management, you can challenge the crisis management. Okay. Okay, another factor that's important in um, uh, what you call them, um, uh, influencing the relationship is um, competitive pricing, i.e. pricing, what type of um, prices or value of money you're going to charge to your customers, you know, through offering discounts or loyalty or perception and so on. External environment, social responsibility, you know, the social responsibility, i.e. pollution or training or providing information uh, as, or providing a service through, uh, you know, good uh, empowering um, employees or providing um, something back to the community, social responsibility in terms of um, environmental sustainability or in terms of the social responsibility in terms of rubbish collection for example in terms of creating cleanliness or recycling or using environmentally friendly resources yeah how are you going to contribute these are some of these factors that will build up a relationship with crm um, right cultural and uh, apart from cultural um, you know, cultural, um, what you call them, uh, uh, sensitivity. There are other factors like sustainability and like the social use of environment or contributing to the society or contributing to the environment, uh, you know, so through your own charities or through your, um, you know, responsibility, uh, which is social responsibility, corporate social for CSR. Okay, to what extent are you socially responsible or uh, creating, uh, you know, social responsibility toward the customers, toward the community, toward the uh, environment, and so on. So you should devise some policies according to the needs of uh, the society. And that will give um, a good word of mouth, good um, customer relationship, you know, by using recycling products or recycled products and so on by making sure that you are also prone to uh, disabled people. You are welcoming to disabled and um, ethnic minorities and blacks and whites and yellows. You have a kind of a, 
um, welcoming environment, not for the customers, but maybe for employees in, in your workplace, you know, uh, positive role uh, in terms of um, discrimination and uh, training and uh, access to jobs and uh, training and so on. Okay, so all these creates a, a lot of um, good customer relationship and these are some of the important factors, right, uh, that um, influence the customer relationship. So we have uh, uh, talked about lots of things on this. Um, so the customer, the whole summary is the whole thing is that the customer relationship is very important in tourism because it's based on people contact, it's based on uh, personalization, it's based on customers, it's based on um, you know employees or humans rather than uh, yeah, it's not based on uh, fictitious thing. It's based on realistic experiences of people. And the CRM looks at um, uh, you know, uh, uh, the CRM is a kind of a system which looks at the whole situation in a holistic approach, uh, which addresses uh, factors like, um, um, you know, building up a relationship, using the technology, using the feedback, communication, using different types of channels, getting your marketing campaigns according to what the customer's needs are, according to <clears throat> what they, um, you know, what the market wants, what the market segments, what targets you are targeting and so on. So the customer uh, is at the forefront of your um, organization because if there are no customers, of course, uh, the CR would not work. So you should have a, a good CR, CRM based uh, upon the customer relationship you know? uh, because the customers will contribute to your well-being, to your loyalty, to your success of the organization. Okay, um, so um, this is uh, what we have to say in summary. So the customer services management, the CRM is very important in that sense. The, the whole idea of the CRM is the survival of the business depends on this good CRM system. Okay, um, mm -hmm. all right. So I think um, we have exp looked at um, enough um, CRM today and, and why it's important and the reasons for it's important the, and um, the um, what you call them uh, factors that influence um, customer relationship management correct yeah there are some resources uh, if you are stuck with more information of course you go on to your Moodle account and look at the CRM the importance the reasons the functions the a relationship between CRM and other departments and why it's so and what factors um, you know play important part okay. there are some references there um, for example Buttle and uh, Maclan 2019 customer relationship management and there are one or two other books that you can have a look all right um, okay, okay. Um, so, uh, you know, there are some journals, maybe some ebooks, there are further uh, reading that you can look uh, through. And uh, if you have any problems or whatever, you can send us email uh, regarding your issue or any problem that you have. Okay. You send through Learner Work any email that you can have or if you're stuck. Okay. So, um, we set um, in in conclusion. We will just say that uh, we set out to do the LO one. The um, and LO one was to do about the importance of customer relationship. What is it? What's the reason? What's the function? How can we maintain? How can we create? You know, uh, customer relationship and the CRM system. So this is what we talked about today. Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, you know, pretty um, sense sensible thing to do when you're talking about the customers, uh, you know, when you want to create, yeah, relationship mm -hmm. between the business and uh, customer. Uh, okay, so any anything that um, you don't understand, anything I need to repeat? No. Or is it pretty straightforward actually, isn't it? The importance of customer relationship management. Have you have any experience of customer relationship management or uh, you have any uh, experience of, um, this particular system, you know? 
No, I no? just heard the word sometimes, but not deep as. Okay, all right. Um, well, it's basically common sense, isn't it? It's uh, creating the reasons for uh, creating good relationship with customers. Why is it important? As any other industry, but the tourism industry is very uh, prone to CRM because all the time people are visiting the places. So you have to have a, a customer services all the time, you know? And it's, it's very important that one have a good system of uh, creating CRM. Okay, Tulani? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, uh, tomorrow we will be looking at um, LO2, yes? Yeah. Uh, which is the CRM. Uh, same time, one o'clock, August the 15th. Uh, and we'll be looking at the CRM LO2. Okay. Um, thank you very much for joining. Thank you. Have a good day. And, uh, Bye. Have a good day. And uh, what you're going to do for the rest of the day? Uh, go through your notes or go through your... Um, yeah, I to review the... Review what you were uh, going to do. Okay. Yes. Okay. So keep up the good work and thank you for joining and we'll speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.